good morning guys so welcome back to another vlog um it's so hot <laughs> especially up in this office because i'm in the attic room it's like a sauna up here i'm um, pretty sure in winter i was always complaining about how cold it is but it's like one of those rooms winter too cold summer too hot um <laughs> anyway i'm gonna do my makeup with you because i have this makeup sent through from estee lauder on the weekend I had loads of messages about trying it on camera so I thought I would do that this morning I am slightly concerned that the shades are going to be too dark for me so basically it's a kit kind of like a kit PR um this one is the double wear and then a primer to go with it and a concealer and this one is the hydro rescue again primer and concealer um this one really interesting it has SPF 45 in it which I love the other one has SPF 10 um, so yeah, I'm going to try that today. Hopefully they're not too dark. I'm sure it will be too dark, but I hope they're not like too, too dark, you know? Um, and I can order some better shades, um, which I, after I've tried them, I've done my skincare and then I've also popped on this L'Oreal Glow Cherie. This is so good. This is like a completely underrated product. I love it so much. It's very, very, very similar to the By Terry CC, but I would say it's kind of like less... It less looks like you're wearing something. It more just makes your skin look really hydrated and glowy and really like it. So I recommend that. I'm going to stick on some mascara. So I'm going to use Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. I love this mascara. It's very, very good. This is also one of those... Can you see me? Yeah. One of those mascaras that it takes literally no time at all to get it, them looking how you want them to look. Okay. Mascara is done. It literally takes me, like, it's probably the quickest mascara I can do my eyelashes in to this, like, thickness, and I absolutely love it. So, yesterday I did try this, and, but I, like, did my makeup in, like, 0.1 seconds, and I put the tiniest bit on, so I can't really say that I've tried it. Tried it. Um, this is what everybody talks about, and what everyone was excited about on Instagram. So, I think I'll try this. I have a brush and a beauty blender up here with me. Really enjoying the combination of the two, especially Beauty Blender when I don't use it. I really notice like my foundation just doesn't look as good. Oh, okay. I don't think that's going to be too bad a match. I think I can work with it. Um, this is shade 3W1. Um, w is warm. I feel like I'm N normally, neutral. I had my Invisalign appointment last week with Dr. Rona to shave shave i mean that sounds really scary basically what they do is they shave down or file down your teeth um so they've got room to move so we did that on i think mainly the bottom ones and then i think just a little bit on the top and i mean you literally would not even be able to tell that i had that done like it doesn't make it for me it didn't make my teeth look any different also didn't hurt at all it just felt horrible like <laughs> they use a drill kind of a machine anyway for part of it and then the other part of it, sorry, let me talk and do. They take like a like a metal strip, which looks like a nail file, but it's not, it's just like a metal strip. And they go in your teeth and like file, <laughs> like flossing, but with a metal strip. It was actually, that that's, it, didn't, it wasn't like uncomfortable. I'm still making it sound worse than it was. Like it was so wearable, but just like, if they did that for too many teeth, I probably would start getting like shivers. But anyway, it didn't hurt at all. And it was over in five minutes. That's quite a good match. I mean, it's definitely not perfect, but considering I thought it was going to be really off, I'm quite happy with that. Put a little bit more on and blend it in with this, because this is how I've been doing my foundation recently, and I've been really enjoying it, so I'm not going to natter. You can just watch. I hope you can get a pump for this, because it's like the NARS ones. I hate doing this. Looked in better light this foundation is definitely not the right undertone for me it's more of like a pinky undertone whereas i definitely need more of like a yellow undertone um my lips are so dry i'm gonna buy some shades tomorrow if i like how it looks kind of at the end of the day you can see it better i obviously have this breakout here which you can still see like some darkness through and obviously the texture but overall i think you're it still looks like a really nice light foundation whilst definitely being buildable and giving giving me good coverage so yeah i like it they have given a concealer which is the double wear stay in place 
Flawless Wear Concealer in 2W Light Medium. Use that, but I'm also going to go in with my Banana Look Lighter just so I get like a more true representation. Basically, I'm gonna keep my makeup exactly how I do it normally so I can really see how it looks at the end of the day. Oh, this is quite a nice light color though. You know how the TikTok trend is to do like the here and the here for the lifted? I do like it, but like when I do it, I'm like, it doesn't really make any difference. <laughs> because when I blend out, I still blend in the same way and it makes me feel really old doing it like this. Okay, that's why I put my light. I won't need my banana then. Let's go in. It, that is nice and bright. If I had that to me is like what my banana low lighter is. However, I normally would have put on a concealer that is more my skin tone to conceal the dark and then I'd put on my banana, but oh well. Contour, I've been using Chanel Tan, Soleil Tan de Chanel. <laughs> I've been using this for so many years. I kind of dip in and out of it, but I'm really enjoying it at the minute. Um, I just take this little brush, it's from Guerlain, and I'm gonna kind of contour and then I'll powder. So, slightly kind of. And I use this for eyeshadow as well, so I'm just taking this little Rodeo brush and go on my eyes. Okay, powder, I feel honestly like this foundation doesn't need powder. Yeah, that's really weird. Okay, well I'm gonna just do my T-zone and under my eyes. But normally I look kind of really, really shiny with my foundations. This one, I don't. So I'm gonna go in with bronzer with the L'Oreal Back to Bronze. L'Oreal makeup is my go-to in summer. Like I absolutely adore it in summer. Like I always, it's just always so nice and lightweight and I don't know why, but it's definitely my summer makeup. So I'm gonna just kind of bronze up my face again. Take this down my neck. Just do a little bit up there. Blusher, forgot the name. Life's a Peach again by L'Oreal. Just on a fluffy blush brush. I love this one because it is actually, it's peach. It's not like pink, um, but it looks really nice and natural on the face. Final step is a spray. So this is um, my YSL Top Secrets setting spray. That is it done. So I will update you. Let me zoom you out. Okay, I will update you as we go through the day um, on how it stays, or maybe just tonight I can update you. Okay. I haven't spoken to you all day. Um, it's been literally just editing and filming and nothing to share. Um, but I thought I would do a little makeup update before the um, that way before the light disappears. So this is how it's looking. I'm really, really impressed. Obviously, I need to powder. I haven't like touched up or anything. Not for probably about four hours. Um, no longer than that. Probably four or five hours. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. This is it really 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 impressed i mean to be fair like, i don't even need to touch up in terms of powder like that much um obviously i have like pimples and stuff here but if you look here it's all pretty much like not moved like my contour is still there i've got a little bit of like uh glow here my mascara's run a little bit um also for me the main place that foundation comes off is my chin and it, i I just don't think it has. But yeah, overall, guys, I'm really, really impressed. Hello, guys. So it's actually been a little while since I last spoke to you. I don't even remember when that was. When I see my makeup. <laughs> um, anyway, since then, I have ordered some new colors. So it actually suits my skin tone. And I'm really, really getting on well with that double wear. But anyway, it is, as I say, a little while later. I've had a few things happen and I've had my hair done, if you can see. Um, it's looking really, really nice and fresh, which is so nice. I went to my hairdressers on Monday, so I just had my color all like refreshed. We keep the roots 
the same. So you can see up here is all my natural and then we just bring the blonde up a little bit. So yeah, looking good. And I also chopped quite, ignore the mess of my office, <laughs> chopped about an inch off as well. So it's feeling really healthy and fresh and good. And then also I have my brows done by Fox and Vamp. So I had an HD brow put on there. So it's like a tint, thread, all that jazz. So feeling a lot more human now. Although I am actually quite sick, it's not COVID, but I am feeling, um, I've got like a head cold. So that's not great, but I'm pushing through. Today, not much is happening. Honestly, I'm gonna just, I'm about to do my nails. <laughs> I did actually have my nail girl come over and do them for me. Um, but because of my Invisalign, so you know how like, when you take an Invisalign out, I don't know if it's anyone else, but I like flick it with my finger, so I go like this. And that meant that these two nails peeled like literally within a week of having my nails done because I'm like flicking it into the brace. Yeah, I end up just picking all of them off. I'm actually not gonna pay for my nails to be done until my Invisalign is off because otherwise, I don't think anyway, otherwise it's just a waste of money because it just comes off after like a few days. Um, so yeah, that's a bit annoying. But anyway, I need to do my nails and also my toenails because they're looking a little bit not nice. I'm halfway through it prepping. So I'm gonna just pop on um, this color, which is OPI's, uh, put it in neutral. I really like this, it's super natural and also um do my toenails as well probably in this one which is a shellac color called unmasked which i really like i'm also sitting watching the night stalker which is so good i don't know how i hadn't watched it before my hairdresser actually said watch it because you'll love it and um, i do it's great so <laughs> i want episode three of that and yeah i think i'm gonna just pack it in for the day after this really because i'm not feeling tip top actually no, that's a lie. I have a big misguided order to go through with you, which was delivered about a week ago and there's so many cute things in there. I've already been wearing bits and bobs, so I'll go through that with you. Buy a snowman. They're gonna run and hide and act like they don't want to come, but they love it. Come on, let's get your harness on. Oh, oh, good one. He didn't understand. Um, I'm halfway through doing my nails. This hand's cute. This hand's a mess, but I want to take the dogs out. Well, we want, we want to take dogs out before the school kids come out. Otherwise, it's just so busy out there. It's like a school, a primary school up around the corner from us. So we thought we'd best take them out now. It's 2.30 with their new harnesses. Remember I showed them in the last vlog from, from Amara. Amara? Aurora pets. Aurora. <laughs> Aurora, I always think it's Amara. That's the home one though. Um, they love these so much. I mean, they probably don't even know that they're wearing them, but I think they love them. <laughs> and their leads. I love them so much. Actually, it's gonna be very nice to get some fresh air. Watch this, hold on. Oh. Okay, ready? <laughs> Just want you to put it on. Good boy, Biggs. You love it when you're out. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Stop being a silly sausage. Biggs. Wait. made it out so they're having a really nice time <laughs> but as we're saying it's actually just shocking how big big he is it's actually kind of scary and the fact that he still has like what four months four months of growing left bean 
Oh, been staying a poop. I think you can see my hair really nice in this light. Um, anyway, tomorrow we have date night. We actually managed to get a reservation um, for dinner at Scott's in Mayfair, which would be really nice. It'd be like our second time going out since lockdown lifting. <laughs> and we were meant to have brunch yesterday, but I actually slept through the reservation because um, I was feeling a bit ill. So yeah, but anyway, I'm excited for tomorrow. Biggie's getting better at being on a walk, but he's still a little bit difficult. So I'm gonna actually put my camera away because I need to have two hands to control this beast. Okay, so I'm going to go through this big misguided order with you. Um, I've been finding some really, really cute pieces on there recently. I actually showed you guys some stuff probably about two months ago, I think, from there. Um, and this time around, I kind of had like the idea of like the focus of going out, being able to go out for like, dinners and it being a little bit warmer, or it was when I made this order. <laughs> now it's a little bit cold and wet. Um, but yeah, just getting things that I could like utilize over the next little while with being allowed out of the house, basically. So I haven't tried all of it on. I have tried a few pieces on. And there's some really, really gorgeous um, bits and also really cute outfits that I've made. Yes, I'll just kind of go through them. Should I show you them like this and then try them on? Or should I just try them on and show you them tried on? Mm. Okay, I've decided to just film it this way because it's easier. Um, but before I jump in, I have a discount code for Misguided, which is Nadia, and that will get you 35% off. I'll pop that here. I'll also put all the T's and C's down below, so check that out. But first up is this um, black top. I've already worn this out and it was very, very comfortable and really, really lovely like to wear. Like it's just a really soft piece. It's from the Restyled range, which is their like it's their conscious um range. I think it's really, really sweet. It does have these little hand some new things, you know. And when I saw that, I was like, okay, well, I'm never going to use that. But I have actually found myself just like putting my hand through it. I think it's kind of cute. <laughs> and then I have these jeans, which uh, shorts even, which I absolutely love. Like I'm obsessed with these. I love the fact that you still have the length of the short and then they've added the rips rather than having like, say like this was the shorts. Okay, so like this was the shorts and then they rip that. That's where they always look like too short, you know? Whereas this, you've got like the shorts and then the rip. So you're still kind of covered, but you're getting that ripped effect and they do look super vintage and super worn. I'm wearing size six in these and they are big. I don't know if you can see there, but I've literally just tied a scrunchie across two of the belt loops because they are a good, a good like two inches, probably too big for me. And I'm normally a size six in shorts like this. I mean, you could size down, but for me personally, I love the fit of the shorts like this. So I'm gonna just have to wear them with belts or get a little stitch put in because I don't wanna lose any of this fit. So yeah, that's these. I'll show you what I got because I had like a whole outfit intended. So let me pop on the jacket. Okay, and then here is the little blazer jacket that I got to go with this. I am obsessed with this. So I actually did think it was more of a blazer. I didn't read the description properly, but it is actually like a little jacket. So let me try and show you the material here. You can probably see it's quite, it's kind of like a woolly thicker material. Um, so yeah, it's just like a blazer style, obviously, but it's in the coat material, which is great, especially for like now. Some days it's warm enough to wear shorts like this. Like the other day I had them on and they were perfect, but it can get a little bit chilly. So this jacket's like perfect for that, you know? And this is just one of my absolute favorite spring looks. I paired this whole look with Dr. Martens. I really cannot be dealing with those laces right now because it's so hot up in this office, but I'll put a picture on screen here of me wearing it and you can see the whole um, look. So this blazer jacket I got in a UK 10. You can probably see the length on me there. Um, normally a 10 is me sizing up and it is definitely like roomy. Like it's the right size, but it's not big, you know? It's not got that much length on it. So I would say definitely size one or two up if you want to get like this fit. Otherwise it would be gorgeous as well. More like neat and fitted and intended to be like a fitted piece. But yeah, I like it um, a little bit more oversized, especially pairing it with this kind of look. Okay, next up is this little t-shirt again from the restyled range. So it's like a more sustainable range and um, again it's the same material as the black top it's just so so soft it's really really lovely not see-through at all I'm wearing a nude bra but like you can't even see the nude through it at all so it's like a nice thick material has a thicker um kind of neckline and then it has these sleeves which come down a little bit longer which I love I think they're super flattering and I also think a sleeve like this looks a little bit more smart than just a normal sleeve especially if you go out for like a dinner or something and you want to wear a t-shirt that sleeve I think just looks better than normal t-shirt sleeves. So yeah, I really, really like this piece. And then I move on to these jeans, which I wanted to love so badly. And I do, I do actually love the shape of them. I think they're so cool, like super kind of vintage, super like found it in a vintage shop and just like, they're so cool, but they are so big on me. Um, these are a UK six, which is my normal size, six regular leg. And I mean, they're absolutely huge. Like I've had to pin them at the back again. 
and the leg I've had to roll three times and it's still that long so <laughs> if they did fit me perfectly I think they'd be such a cool piece for spring summer but yeah I would say definitely definitely size down in these um, but I'm wearing them how I would wear them so I would obviously just wear a quite simple top you could even do like quite a big belt here and then I've just got some trainers on um, and yeah I think they're really cool I love this kind of like pinched in darts down the front as well just like a super lovely like vintage style also the denim is really lovely it's not a super thick denim and it doesn't have much stretch in it but it's just a really lovely like good quality um, <clears throat> denim and yeah <laughs> how many times can I say denim in a sentence um, yeah, I, I love them. I love the idea of them, but they just didn't really work on me. Oh, I have not been a cardigan girl my whole life until the last few months, and now I'm just obsessed with them. I think they look so cute. So I literally fell in love with this one. I think it's adorable. This one, I actually went up a size, and I'm happy I did. You can see the length there. I just kind of like folded it under though. Um, I took a 10 slash 12, so definitely size up in this one. But this is what it looks like. It's this gorgeous kind of like salmon kind of nude color. Really, really lovely knit as well. And it's really soft. And then it has these baggier sleeves. So it's just like a really kind of like effortless silhouette, like super, super chilled. And then this bit I absolutely adore. So the buttons are the same color as the rest of it, which I think is so sweet. And again, it's just like a really kind of vintage feeling piece. So this is my idea for the outfit was these um, slouchy jeans rolled up at the bottom and then the cardigan and the shoes match these are my chloe trainers matching really nicely with this cardi and i just thought it would be such a cute spring look and it is it's just these jeans are a little bit too big on me to be fair though i have just rolled the waistband here rather than clipping them and you can't see that at all so maybe that is fine let me know what you guys think and then i saved the best for last because i feel like you guys are going to absolutely adore this and i'm obsessed myself so this is a little kind of like mini um wrap dress so it's in this lovely brown color and it also has this it's cream it's not white i'd say going through it which is really really sweet and then also let me turn you around because i feel like it'd be easier to see this way so let's go over here this is the pattern with the brown and the cream and then certain areas have this really lovely like fleck of red going through it so there's like a bit of red there a little bit on this side and just kind of all over it there's these little like spots of red which i just think is super cute and it's like it's really nice because it's like autumn colors but it's definitely a spring summer like silhouette and i just adore it it has this kind of like wrap over front with this oops let me tuck the lining in with this like frill it's nice too because it's not too much of a deep v but if you wanted to cover it up more like you could definitely kind of bring that up higher or how i like it is kind of to open it so you do get a little bit of cleavage but it's definitely modest enough and then on the sleeves they have these little kind of like peephole bits there and also on that side the waist is elastic so there is like an elastic kind of bit in there and um, which also means that you can roll it if you want it shorter like so so that's like rolled over once which gives me a shorter kind of length but again still long enough and covered or you can not roll it and have the full length of it which is great for like if you go to a wedding wearing it or something like that something you need to be a little bit more modest in so it's actually quite a ver like a versatile piece and um, also this will look so cute with some trainers but also it will look cute with sandals and also it'll look really cute with wedges so i guess i'll put it on with my wedges now so i've just popped on with my castagna wedges i have these in like four different colors they are my absolute hero shoes for the spring summer they're super comfortable and they're wedges so they're super easy to walk in but this is how I'd wear this on holiday or if I had like a barbecue in the middle of summer. Um, I'd probably put on like a big oversized cream blazer as well to bring out some of that white and also it's cold at night time. But yeah, look how gorgeous this is. I'm just obsessed. Pulled it up there, but if you had a wedding, just pull that length down. So you've got a little bit more of a modest um, hemline and then again the wedges and just looks so cute and summery. I adore this so much. And then also just to show you, it is lined so you're not going to see any... Um, underwear through it as i say if you guys want to shop anything you can use nadia for 35 percent off misguided have so many cute pieces on there right now and i feel like i'm really excited for shopping again now that we can <laughs> actually go out the house and like enjoy ourselves so this actually was my intended outfit not with the heels with trainers for tomorrow night when we go out for dinner i ordered these outfits maybe 10 days ago a week ago and it was really really hot then but now it's cold so yeah i can't wear this but <laughs> it was a nice idea and i'm sure i'll get wear out of it in like a few weeks to come the thing that i showed you i will link down below of course and i would go out and have a look at misguided because honestly so good right now
guys, um, just a really quick ending to this video because I did, didn't end it yesterday, I completely slipped my mind and I was just editing it this morning and I was like, oops, did not end it. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.